Hey everybody, do you know what today is? It's my birthday. I'm going to hang out with you on my birthday for a little bit. Uh, not because I necessarily want to be making a video on my birthday, but because it's overdue. I need to get some information out there. And I've been every day, I think since Thursday, I've been like wanting to make a video and it just, I'm just swamped. Anyhow, my name is Jeff. I am a full-time reseller, and I am navigating my way through this nutty reseller environment that we are on. We are here right now to search for the truth within e-commerce, and I've got some cool information for you today, and I'm gonna... I've looked over it uh, very quickly, and I'm like, there's, 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 there's good stuff here that needs to get out into the community and so we can discuss it. Uh, I've got some, I got some comments I've got to do. I am, I'm so ill prepared right now. I am actually trying to get this video, trying to get this video done before we go to my daughter's to have my birthday dinner, which I'm excited about. I had a double zero day yesterday. Yes, you heard it here. I don't think I've ever had that. I don't think I've ever had no sales on both stores. That is coming off a really good, I had a pretty good week. Doesn't mean that I deserve a double negative. And then I woke up today and something that I listed, again, right before I went to bed, sold overnight. That was the only sale that I woke up to and I'm thinking to myself, does that mean that my other 8,200 listings are, are garbage? I mean, this has happened before. I've literally, I'm having deja vu telling you guys about this, where one day I have like an absolute crap show of, of sales, and then I list something, and then that one item that I list is the one that sells. Now, I'm starting to think that eBay truly views your items that don't sell within a certain amount of time as worthless or worth less, <laughs> uh, whatever you want. And it's just like, what do we do about that? Because today I'm at $300 in sales on eBay. Does that mean that all my items that are selling today were less than desirable yesterday? No, it doesn't mean that. I will never for the life of me understand what is going on with impressions, page views, sales. I don't understand what eBay is doing with items feeling like they're not being seen. And in some cases, they're not being seen when you go in and you look at your uh, impressions and page views. And, and, and it's just like, I was thinking about this today. We're not really, we're not really resellers. We're more or less caretakers of the graveyard of listings that we list on eBay. Because that's what it feels like. It truly feels like we're caretakers. Our, uh, yeah, caretakers, undertakers. I don't know, but it, it feels like we're in charge of just like housing, paying for these listings. We list, occasionally they sell, but there's no consistency. And it's very difficult to have any sort of, uh, you know, a business that you can have expectations and about, you know, earnings and whatnot. It's just, and we're going to get into some really eye-opening, uh, I've got some, I got some emails and some conversations that Liz Morton from Value Added Resource had with eBay. So she summarized a few things like from a couple years ago, I believe. I'm going to, we're going to do this together. We're going to, because I've looked over some of this, but it was very fast. And I'm just like, okay, I'm going to look into it more before I make the video. And I just, I haven't had time to do that. I apologize, but... 
this is me. This is this is just how I'm rolling because I have I, I I literally have no time right now between everything that's going on between eBay, YouTube, local, having to cross list, having to you know spread uh, laterally with my business, trying to compensate for the shortcomings of eBay's platform when it comes to. I guess just having having sales that you can rely on and it's it's not it's not me it's not you it's 100 percent the platform but i don't really understand because how can you list something and then it sells immediately repeatedly and then you basically have you know all your other items just get no activity but then they get but then they sell so I, I I don't really know what to do except for what I am doing. Now, I am running a little bit of a, a contest, not a contest, like a challenge between eBay and local. So on, what was it? I'm keeping track of my eBay versus local sales for just one random week. And I started it two days ago and we'll, we'll share with it. We'll share the results of that after the week goes is is complete we'll just it's just something fun i wanted to kind of compare and contrast you know i've got it's almost like an eight to one ratio i'm i'm almost i'm certain ebay is going to come out on top in terms of sales but is it what percentage is it gonna is it gonna be is it gonna be you know 800 to 100 or or, or what, whatever it's gonna be i mean it's not it's where are we at now? Okay. Should be more than 800, hopefully. But, um, so there's that. What else, what else did I want to, uh, hmm. Okay. I can't remember what I was gonna, what I was gonna say. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is, uh, I have some, some notes that, that that someone else, an, an anonymous source, sent me about what Liz had sent them. And then we're going to dig into, and I do have permission to share this in case you were wondering, then we're going to dig into a little bit more uh, of some emails uh, that, that was sent to me from, from Liz as well. So this is regarding, uh, so this is from Liz. This is her summation of, I believe, a conversation that she had with eBay a couple years ago. In ad and traffic reporting, eBay defines impressions as the number of times your promoted listings have appeared on any eBay site. What that means in practice, according to eBay. In the search results, if your promoted listings shows in spot 40 on page one of search, but the buyer only scrolls down as far as, say, the 20th result. That still counts as an impression because it was on the page that was loaded. When I read that, I had two reactions. I was not surprised and I was shocked. I don't know how you can have... Because I guess I had never really thought about it. I mean, we all... In this little community that we have going on uh, here, I think we've all come to the conclusion that impressions are worthless because we don't know where they're coming from. We don't know who the people looking at them, are they actual people who are looking at your merchandise or are they just being, you know, is eBay just puking up all of these results just so they can kind of meet their impression thresh threshold. I remember the other thing that I was going to say. I'm I'm also going to try something this week. I I'm at where am I at right now? 0.9% negative year over year on Maria's store and I'm 3.2% negative on my store year over year. I've only been positive on both stores like one day this entire year. And it's been within the last couple of weeks, I believe, for both of them. 
and then I just fall back down. I am going to try starting today and then I'm going to I'm going to do everything I can to get positive. Now I know that there is a another thought that these statistics don't mean anything because people when they've done their taxes and they've done their book bookkeeping their numbers are different from what ebay's numbers i don't know what percentage it's off but it's still in my mind it's still something to shoot for and how i'm gonna do that is i'm gonna i'm gonna send some ridiculous offers out there and i'm gonna see if i can so i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna let my day go like my normal day, and this is going under the theory that eBay caps our sales. And I'm going to maybe send all my offers like late in the day, see if I can capture. So so the sales that I have, I already have, because if, if I do it in the beginning of the day and I get some sales out of it, eBay may just cap me and not. So let's, I'm just going to play around with that. I just want to, I just want to go positive on both accounts. I just want to like get some momentum. I've got tons of inventory. I've got wiggle room on my prices. I'm going to see what can, uh, and, and also this will be fun because I have, I have a belief that at least half of the people that we send offers to are probably not even actually people who are interested in our items. So if I'm sending really good offers out there on things and people aren't biting, that's just going to basically prove that theory as well. All right, sorry, little tangent there, little birthday tangent. Um, let's go off on another tangent. Why not? Um, I finished Ripley today. Let me know if anybody's watching that and what they thought of it. The last episode was incredible. Incredible because it kind of like brought everything together. I don't like I enjoyed it, but it was slow. It was slow. It was very methodical. If you're into that kind of thing, if you liked the, the, the movie, The Talented Mr. Ripley, you're going to like that. It kind of fleshed things out a bit more because, you know, you got eight, eight episodes. But but uh, but yeah, that's 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 what I did over the weekend when I wasn't or well for the last week when I was trying to just have some downtime. All right. <clears throat> if your promoted listing shows in a scrolling ad carousel somewhere on page one of search, but the buyer does not scroll right to bring it into view on their screen, it still counts as an impression because it was on that page that was loaded. But if your promoted listing shows on page two and the buyer never navigates to page two, it does not count as an impression. On item, on view item pages, if your promoted listing is shown anywhere on the page, even if it is a scrolling ad carousel module, that counts as an impression. Even if the buyer never scrolls down or to the side enough to bring it into the screen, bring it into the view on the screen because it's on the page that was Lotus. The easiest way to think about it is to replace the word site with URL in eBay's definition. The number of times your promoted listing have appeared on any eBay URL. When you navigate, from page one to page two in search, the URL you'll see in that browser actually changes. But but when just scrolling up, down, left, or right on ad modules or pages, the URL does not change. That's pretty basic website 101. Basically, the impressions count when a unique URL slash page loads and your ad is anywhere on that URL slash page, even if it's in a scrolling module that makes it not immediately visible on the page, if that makes sense. Okay, I... Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go to the email now that I that I got from uh, the third party that was being exchanged between that third party and and Liz that I was cc'd on. All right, so this is this these are Patricia's words. I was thinking it through this morning, and I realized I left another piece that still leads to the same conclusion. It's just a different way eBay says the same thing. The definition of the number of times your promoted listing have appeared on any eBay site is used in most of the reports for ad performance, but I forgot on the traffic's report page they say it differently. 
An impression, an impression counts when a link to your listing appears on eBay and a buyer is one click away from your listing. I've seen the one click away part in quotations cause confusion in the past. And just like the other definition, it would be more accurate if eBay said an impression counts when a link to your listing appears on eBay and the buyer is just one click on a link URL away from the listing. They're not tracking or counting a buyer's mouse action or inputs, clicking an arrow or bar to scroll a page up or down or an ad carousel left or right. They're only talking about the number of links that would need to be clicked on to get to your listing. And this goes for both promoted and organic. So similar to the expressions I gave before, In search, if either the promoted or organic versions of your listings appears in spot 40 of page one, but the buyer only scrolls as far as 20. Hold on one second, I think. See, I told you we're gonna be doing this together. So yeah, I had already read that part. I should also add that the way eBay handles this in search is fairly standard across other marketplaces and even other applications where impressions would be measured. For example, Google's documentation on how they count impressions when search results are paginated rather than infinite scroll says, an impression is counted whenever an item appears in the current page of results, whether or not the item is scrolled into view as long as the user need not click to see more results, such as being required to click see more to see the link. So in my experience, eBay isn't doing anything really different from what other companies do as far as search impressions. But because the documentation is lacking non-existent and or terribly worded, it leads to a lot of confusion and our sellers and sellers spinning their wheels over data that may not actually mean what they think it means. The vast majority of reported impressions come from the view item page where eBay may load 100 plus links to other items, mostly because the descriptions and feedback modules. And that's where the stats can get inflated and become pretty much meaningless because in many cases, it's likely a buyer may never scroll far enough to actually bring those other items into view on their screen, but they all register as impressions as soon as the page loads anyway. So she, uh, Liz, uh, basically just wanted me to kind of say that this came from Liz Morton, a value added, added resource based on conversations that she had with eBay ads personnel over the last few years. And then you can reference uh, this eBay community chat from 2022 where the ad teams confirmed how impressions are counted. I haven't looked at these, but maybe I'll just link these. Yeah, I think I'll just, I have a couple links I'll put in the, uh, the description. And then the anonymous, the anonymous uh, user asks, one more thought, uh, they're asking a question to Liz. URLs work for laptops and desktops, but I am less certain that they are applica applicable to search engines and ergo impressions called up within the app, eBay app. The app, like it's structured differently with wording endless scrolling, the eBay app is heavily used by buyers and sellers, as you know. Implication being, in my, if I am not mistaken, that searches on the app would mean a lot of impressions never viewed. What am I missing? Liz says, uh, that's a great question. I don't think you're missing anything. I just don't honestly know the answer. They did test infinite scroll on desktop last year too, and I had forgotten I published this info about how impressions are counted and raised the questions about what infinite scroll could mean at that time. Um, I will link that too as well. That way you can see. As you pointed out in the app, you don't have to click anything. It just loads more as you scroll. So it's certain, certainly possible those could all be counted as impressions or it may be that they handle it like Google. And when the display results in infinite scroll, Google says for scrolled results without paging, infinite scrolling, such as image search and mobile, or a card and discover the item must typically typically be scrolled into view to count as an impression, which that makes sense as well. When I scroll in the app, there's often a very short delay in the thumbnail picture 
to load, which su suggests it's likely lazy loading as items come into view on the screen rather than fully loading all results immediately when the search is executed. I'm sure that's primarily done to optimize resources for fast, fastest initial loading, but it could also be exec executing some code in the background for impressions tracking too. Okay, so then the response by the other user says, thanks for your reply. I hope you were able to obtain clarification about impressions counts on the eBay app. The knock-on implication of impressions inflation via unseen yet called up listings are concerning. First, in the understandable interpretation by sellers viewing their performance stats, that they are that their listings have been viewed that quantity of times by prospective buyers as opposed to merely queued for viewing with some proportion unseen. Second is the impact of inflated impressions on account click-through rates. That ratio is rendered unreliable and yet it well may very well function to instruct eBay's black box algorithm to position their accounts listing visibility. Conjecture that. But on the seller side, as I previously noted, it can undermine the seller's sense of creating well-crafted viable listings. As Jeff pointed out today, impressions and click-through rates are cited by eBay's customer service representatives when sellers contact them about slow sales. Jeff's notes in light of the impression inflation, which eBay does not forthright, uh, forthrightly explain, customer service pointed to high impressions as the benchmark metrics, which we're giving your listings all these opportunities to be seen and clicked on, implies that any failure to achieve a healthy click-through rate lies with the seller, item, photos, title, item specifics, description price, shipping costs, gaslighting, to quote Jeff, is also silently and subtle functions as a prompt for sellers to try to increase click-through rate deployment of a promoted listings product affecting margins and or item price and potentially netting eBay additional revenue. So, wow, that's a lot. That's a lot to unpack. Um, the two takeaways from that that I got when, when speaking with this person was How do I, let me just get my thoughts here. Impressions. We don't know what hurts. I mean, we know that if we get impressions and we don't get page views, that's not good. Or if we get page views and we don't get sales, that's not good in eBay's algorithmic eyes. It's possible that if we don't let if if we don't get if we get x amount of impressions and not getting page views that could be and, and that could be seen as a negative like the algorithm could be like okay uh this store is not converting but how many of those impressions were good impressions how many of those impressions were actually ever even seen by a customer Maybe they were in that module, that carousel, and they never actually even saw it. Or maybe they were below the fold, and the and 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 the, and the buyer never had the opportunity to see it. Like those, I mean, like 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 Liz says, the way eBay is doing it is not not necessarily any different from a lot of how a lot of other companies are doing it. But in this algorithmic age that we're in we our accounts could be being punished by not by 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 you know the whole graveyard you know the whole graveyard uh metaphor because ebay feels that our our items are not be are not worthy of their the traffic that they're sending that they're blessing us with the traffic what's crazy is i never ever even ever thought uh before all, all of this on April, I, I I just I never thought about eBay giving me traffic. Like I, first off, I don't ever I don't ever think about eBay that, that eBay should give me a sale, or that eBay is giving me a sale. Like it shouldn't be like that. It should be 
whatever the customer wants, they should be able to find. Like today I did like this little short where I was looking up this cookbook. Uh, you know, I, I was basically going to, I was going to bundle a bunch of cookbooks for a local sale. And I, you know, anytime I get something, I, I want to, I just want to double check that there's not like something valuable about it. And it was coming up with all, all these Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I go to Google, it comes right up. You know what I'm finding is is more successful when you're out um, thrifting and you want to comp something. Nine times out of ten, I'll go and I'll put what it is in eBay. Nothing, nothing comes up. I'll do the Google image lens thing and then it'll come up and then you scroll down and then and then you find an eBay listing on that thing that I am finding myself forced. I mean, think of how sad this is. I mean, literally using Google Lens now to comp an item, to to find an item on my phone. I can't even find these items on the eBay app. I have another comment uh, on a YouTuber's video that I don't watch anymore, but it was sent to me by um a viewer of the channel uh, it was i don't know what the, the whole discussion was because I, I only have this one comment and it, it's kind of applicable because uh it's by a user their username is vg vj dash cs 2 xh and that comment was I remember years ago, the eBay CEO, Wenig, at the time stated in an interview that the platform did not have the server capacity to show all listings, 24-7, 365. Uh, and then in parentheses, it says e-commerce bytes October 2019. So I don't know if he watched an interview that was on e-commerce bites at that time and with billions billions of items for sale this had become even more the case in recent years thus ebay has for years cycled through its servers turning some off some on at predetermined intervals intervals this explains why one can have multiple sales in rapid succession on one day then crickets the next which that's that's me right now i mean that's a lot of people I maintain that those sellers with high sell-through rates are on servers that eBay turns on more frequently. Thus, their items appear more often in search results than identical items from the sellers with lower STRs who are placed on other servers that are turned on less frequently and, as a result, appear less often in search results. It is clearly a capacity and visibility issue and is, not, and is, intention, and is intentional. eBay does not provide a level playing field for all of its sellers, while this is conjuncture on my part. It is the only explanation I have uh, for why, you know, we, we get sales in batches like that. And then we have long periods where we have nothing. Um, that makes a lot of sense. And, it, and, and then it goes back to how are the, how are the sell through rates calculated correctly right because again if 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 we're being penalized because we're getting x amount of impressions that and and then they're not leading the page views which can't possibly lead to sales then are are we being put in a box in that box of control like monetary control like your your account eBay deems you worthy of X amount of money. Like the, oh, see, the other day, I, I had a thought that I didn't fully kind of like extrapolate in, into the video, and I, I, I caught it on the on the premiere. And I was it was basically saying that I have recently de significantly decreased my promoted listings down to like the almost almost the bare minimum, uh, and it came on the heels of like a few days where I was just like, you know, I wasn't getting a lot of sales or I can't remember, or, or maybe I was just, I was getting like X amount and I'm like, okay, if you're just going to give me this amount, I might as well just kick my promoted listings down. And then the next day I had like a massive day, like a massive day. 
uh, which made no sense at all, but nothing, nothing makes sense with all the tools that were given, the things that you think would provide bumps or added increases in, you know, in sales that it will eventually translate into sales. It doesn't happen. Meaning if you go from two to 12%, you would think you would get X amount more sales, but you don't, you might initially, but then it just peters away and you're, you're promoting high for no reason at all. So it feels like you're, you're put in a box, you're given X amount of sales. I feel like right now I'm, I'm pegged between 50 and 150 a day. I, I thought it was like maybe a 50 to 100, but I'm thinking, and, and, and what, I, what I mean is I feel like that's what you're going to get whether you promote at 10% or whether you promote at 2%. I don't know what we have to do to get out of those boxes and to get into another higher level uh, economic monetary box. I do know, so so right now on Maria's store, I'm still doing some resets. On my store, I've pretty much stopped doing any resets. My page views have completely dropped. They've completely tanked, but I'm getting sales. So I'm going to try this for a while. I don't really like doing resets anyhow. Like I feel like my time can be better spent. But at one time, it felt like if you did a full reset every fourth day, it really provided a significant boost that made it worth doing. But now that doesn't feel like it's it doesn't feel like it's worth it to spend the time to do it to spend to to to, ha to have that risk of of losing 200 uh listings or or maybe the you know keeping your items you know to where they can still be seen in Google having that link maybe that's a good thing it almost feels like when i look at the sales like my store is just killing Maria's store even though my store has less items it feels like and let me know if anybody else feels this way it feels like I'm being rewarded for not doing a reset on my store and when I say a reset I mean like I today I did 200 listings but I think up until I don't think I've done like even 200 like one round I don't think I've done that in like four or five days I think I've and I don't even know why I did it today I was just like oh, you know what maybe I'm just gonna do it um I did speak to a viewer who has a very interesting theory not theory uh method that it's it's the, her what she's telling me that she is seeing is is the results are spe speaks for themselves but I just don't like I'm trying it, but it is extremely time consuming. Um, she has a significantly small store than I do. Like uh, she only has 300 listings. I have so many. And I know that I have like lots of problems with my listings. I'm working on it. Uh, I never said that I was the greatest seller in the world. I just keep, I just keep, you know, keep working at it. And, you know, I do my best. Uh, I still believe that listing new items is significant because how many times have I come on here and said, oh, you know, I listed something and it sold. It's it's not like it used to be. Uh, but I am trying to fix listings, uh, listings that have like multiples. I'm I'm trying to maybe create just larger, uh, you know, if I have maybe multiples of something, maybe I'm just going to sell it on a lot. Like I'm trying to up my uh, price per sale uh, because it just feels like, I don't know, it, 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 it feels like, 
I don't know. I don't really, I don't really know what I'm trying to say here. I, I, I'm just, I'm trying to make my listings as simple as possible so there's no confusion. And if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna get, if I have five of something, I would rather sell them all in one instead of sell them one at a time. Like in theory, I used to like the idea for the buyer's sake to, to allow them to come in and, you know, kind of pick and choose what they want to buy. But because visibility is, just feels like it's it's so low on the platform that if I'm going to get a sale, I kind of want to just I kind of want it all to sell. If that makes sense. So I have a couple comments. I'm going to try to get through. I hear Maria upstairs stirring, so I think we need to leave soon. So I might have to finish this later. Uh, LJ Whitmire, uh, this this comment is from two weeks ago. It says, "If we are trapped in some A/B testing hell." Then all the more funny that eBay is destroying their platform to enable AI. eBay's technology has always lagged way behind. I can't imagine what kind of jacked up AI they are using. It doesn't matter. They screwed my store. The number of views, which aren't sales, but are indicative of sales. My views dropped 33% suddenly in April. April, you know, I didn't think April was going to be anywhere near like what it was last April, but... At some point, I felt like this April was worse. So yeah, April hit me pretty hard too. It took three to four months for sales to drop 75%. Combine that with a massive increase in fees, it's not a viable platform regardless of why. I'm working on another opportunity in the short term and in the long term starting another biz. I was hoping to keep the eBay store open, but at this point, it literally is not worth my time anymore. I can't recommend anyone start with eBay because you just don't know if you will end up in the forgotten group or not. Uh, and, and, and what he, what he's kind of alluding to, to tie in with what I was saying is how the, the other commenter was saying that he heard, you know, that comment about some, some people are just trapped on, uh, bad servers. I suppose you could start 10 stores and keep the ones that have good sales. Um, you know, Jack and I were talking the other day. And how many, how many people, how many resellers out there have good things to say about eBay right now? I mean, yeah, there's some, there's some who are drinking the eBay Kool-Aid because maybe they're in that blessed, uh, circle of trust, <laughs> but I mean, when you're out and you're, and you know, you're at garage sales or when I'm doing local sales, like, I don't know how many times I've, I've said the same exact thing to people that, yes, I do have an eBay store. I've got 8,000 items on there, but I'm trying to sell more local because of the things that eBay is, you know, the problems with the platform. It's bad advertising. And I'm and and judging from the comments and the stories that I hear uh, that people are experiencing with eBay. And and yeah, the economy is an issue. But when but when you list something on eBay and you list something local and it's and it sells local, well, there's no reason it shouldn't have sold on eBay because they have, you know, they, they tout themselves as one of the global marketplace leaders for e-commerce. They have an audience of buyers just sitting around waiting to buy things. But the 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 bad mouthing of eBay right now has if if there was a chart for that, it has got to be parabolic right now. It is. It is. It is in a bubble, right? Uh, and that's not good. Like, I love the concept of eBay. I will always come back to that. I am not a fan of how management is running the platform right now. And I think that's a valid point. It's my prerogative. And it's based on the experience that I'm having as a reseller since 2011. 
this continues to be the worst the worst selling experience on the platform that i had the worst in in terms of just the most the most unpredictable uh, uh of you know and I, and i'm not even talking about any of the issues on the you know the the, the glitch the glitching or the feedback or the vro and i'm not even talking about any of that but but everything as a whole it continues to be the most absolute worst experience right now uh selling on ebay and I, you know, in the back of my mind, I've said this to a number of people. I, I firmly believe things will get sorted because I do not believe that the platform can continue on this trajectory of abusing sellers and, and not listening to sellers. And their whole too big to care attitude about sellers, you know, it's, it's not going to fly. It's just, you know, you cannot burn bridges in in this business um so yeah i'm gonna actually probably have to stop now i'm gonna come back and um i'll come back and finish it after my my birthday i may have a few ciders in me so we'll see i'm gonna try to squeeze in a few more comments i'm gonna wait until maria comes downstairs uh, the sequel vintage says, uh, this is a common way to try and upgrade to a more premium offering. If you feel your bottlenecked, you feel you've bottlenecked your resources. They aim at luxury categories and rose all their prices so they could trim the fat low end sellers while still making the same amount and deal with less transactions, therefore saving on customer service and infrastructure fees. Ultimately, I just wish they would have split the site in two the luxury area and the daily items. However, that defeats the purpose of making people compete for ad space. I've said this in the past that should be eBay, should be eBay. Then there should be eBay luxury, eBay. Um, eBay oh, like uh, eBay auto. They could actually had, you know, a handful of different and a lot would fall under luxury actually maybe maybe they just needed that and and it would have worked it would have actually in my opinion i think that would have been an excellent idea uh it would have you know and 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 it would have split things up between servers um potentially i mean i don't you would have all of ebay on one ebay luxury on one server ebay automotive on another uh because you know like the crazy new york driver says the issues that they're having with that like that guaranteed fit program with you know ebay like each each of those divisions of ebay would would have their own you know problems uh and it would just be easier if it would be easier in search uh you, you don't need to be on ebay if you're you know you could be on ebay auto if you're looking for automotives i i i totally agree with you with this uh sequel vintage i i cannot help but think that ebay is missing the boat when it comes to long tail items like there is always going to be a market for lower priced items and and if they say one of jamie's big selling points on ebay is that they allow sellers to build a brand it's not true it's not true they don't allow you to build a brand uh having a store having having a store of graveyard items is not is not a brand okay so there's two comments uh that i want to read a little bit about from two different users about the uh, ebay international program um benny stratton says uh that that is total BS. So Jamie thinks because of his and Devin's brainchild of a program, eBay International Shipping, that it will cause more sellers to stay and sell on eBay. Is he in La La Land? Maybe if eBay was not charging double the retail rate, we would get more sales from international buyers. All I get from them is that you can lower their shipping costs 
All I tell them is we put the weight and dimensions in eBay and the shipping company UPS decide what the shipping rate is and it is 100% double what the retail rate is. And that's exactly one of the reasons that there's, that there's two reasons why I don't participate in the international shipping program. One, I want to have more control over where my items are going uh, because like there's certain things that you can't sell in certain countries. You can get in trouble over that. I don't, if eBay protected us and just didn't allow those things to sell, uh, then I, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I would. The other reason is that I get, I have insanely good, um, I have access to really good international shipping. And so oftentimes I charge a premium. I make a little bit of money on the shipping and handling because it's kind of like there, there's a risk factor that comes in when you uh, sell things internationally. I've, I've had really good luck. I can't tell you the last time I've ever had any issues with, I mean, I honestly can't tell you the last time I had an issue with an interna international order, which if you think about that, that's A, that's awesome. And I, B, I think that's probably unusual. I mean, I've shipped almost everywhere. I. Uh, and so I would rather, you know, I would rather make a little bit of that money instead of eBay doing that. And I, and I basically, it, somebody just can't come to my store and buy something. They have to like ask me and then I tell them, yes, sure. And I give them a quote and if they're happy with it and I don't, I've never given somebody a quote that they, and if they want to buy it, they've always bought it. And, uh, so yeah, and so somebody else says this, where is it? As an international, Wolfmark, Wolfmark says, uh, as an international buyer, I can say that eBay is completely inconsistent in its shipping calculations and is using their global shipping program to rip off international buyers. I often browse HO railway models and many times one and the same item come from the same seller and have different shipping rates and separate listings. Same item, size, weight, origin, destination. But in one listing, it's like 31.56, and in another, it's like 56 to 60, which is quite ex exorbitant. Exorbitant. I mean, who pays two shippings if a seller can send an item directly to a buyer's home address? Many times, sellers have no clue as to what the actual shipping is displayed to me as a buyer in their listings. I then screenshot the seller's listing and send them the image so they can see the shipping rates displayed on my end. eBay was so fun before. Now it has become greedy, robotic, and ex exorbitantly deterring for international buyers. I feel you, mate. I... I mean, I don't know what to say about that. And, you know, this this is just, this is this is somebody who, who, who wants to buy on eBay. If eBay, eBay can, can, can look at sellers and there, and there are a, a bountiful amount of bad resellers on the platform. I, I mean, I could literally do video after video calling out like I constantly look at people's feedback when it's below, you know, 100%. Cause I, I, I want to know if the feedback is justified or if it's, you know, if it's just a really bad buyer leaving crap feedback that the eBay should take care of. And I mean, I see some of these massive sellers that do volume that I wouldn't even want to do. And their feedback is just, trash like it's just and 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 there are so many of the same comments that you know that the only way e the only reason they're allowed to be on the platform is because of their volume that's the only reason that ebay is, allows buyer sellers like that on the platform and that is horrible it is horrible because it's causing bad experiences for for buyers and if and if if ebay took care of themselves first in terms of like how they, you know, like this buyer, he's he's getting ripped off with shipping, extremely high rates of shipping. And if they were more serious about quality control for sellers, uh, within reason, right? Like 
there's certain things that are unfathomable that that sellers can do and i don't have i don't have things on off the top of my head but you just gotta you know you just go out there and you look at some of these bigger sellers out there uh, and i'm not talking about youtube resellers i'm just talking about some bigger sellers that i don't know who they are i just you know i was doing a search on something and then you know sometimes i'll check out other sellers and see see what uh see what their feedback's like so um yeah that brings me to the end of the feedback so i think i'm going to leave now and then i'll do my closing thoughts when i get back and then hopefully get this video uploaded all right so now maria's not ready so um and i wanted to film it from my daughter's balcony because it's so nice but i we have some things to do before we get there so i don't, I don't think it was going to be much light um closing thoughts in all of this <sighs> ebay can't want what's going on they just can't they cannot they can't it's anti-business it's anti-seller uh they it, it it's not good for eBay. It's not a good look. And they need us. Whether whether they want to admit it or not, they do they they need good sellers. And I would say that the majority, well, I mean, I guess I can't say that the majority of people the the majority of people that I interact with are good sellers and they're getting hurt. Like when there was a day this week where which day was it? It was like, I was talking to Jack and he made the comment, like Jack and I were both having like really, really bad days. Like a couple sales between both of our stores. And, you know, so let's, just, and he's like, you know, if you look at my store, your store and Carl, how many, how many items is that? Like 13,000 items. And you're telling me that in 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 a day, you know, I, let's just say I had two two sales that day. Jack had two, and Car maybe that was a day that Carl had two. Out of all those items, you're telling me like five five to six sales out of those, like, and then and then extrapolate that out. Um, there's some people who have really been, you know, checking out you know message boards and and in comment sections and. Some, somebody made the observation that just people are getting destroyed out there. And I, that's not my observation, but this this cannot be good for eBay. It, it just, it, it can't be. Um, when you mess with your sellers, this is something Jack said, when you mess with your sellers and you force them to, to, to build their competitors, the people are building up Mercari now. People are building up Posh. People are building up Etsy. People are, are, are up in their local sales. They're taking their items down and they're selling them in another place or they're cross-listing and, and eBay's losing those sales. Let me read the statement again. When you mess with your sellers and you force them to build their competitors' platforms, you have a serious problem, eBay. You do. You have a serious problem because you're losing out unless that's what you want. We don't know what you want because you don't ever say anything. You have a very easy way that you can communicate with us. It's called email. Like, we get your emails. We get your calls for getting us to up our promoted listings and that was that was something else i want to circle back all the way back to the very beginning so if you're if you're still here if you're still here hit that like subscribe leave a comment good or bad um i read them all try to comment to them if they need commenting i'm very accessible guys I've talked to a number of you guys. I'm a, I'm a very, ex like, I, I'm not a, a YouTuber who, uh, well, all right, I'm going off on a tangent. 
So going back to the whole impressions, you know, not being seen and, and, you know, e eBay telling us it's, you know, it's, it's, it's not us. I mean, eBay, this is eBay, eBay saying it's not us. We're giving you all these impressions. <clears throat> there, somewhere I read recently where an eBay exec said that you don't have to do promoted listings to get sales. And I had to laugh about that. I, I can't remember where I saw that somewhere. I had to laugh about that because there, there, there is a clear evident, evidence connection between pr promoting, you'll get some sales, versus not promoting. But and 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 why do why why do you think eBay is constantly emailing us to try to get us to up 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 out you know try this try dynamic give us control we know what's better than you try offsite try store promotions you know blah 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 eBay there's only so much um, margin that we can do y you know you <laughs> you can only take so much from us and if you take and if you take too much from us I'm pretty sure Lena Khan's gonna come knocking. That's what she's doing to eBay, to Amazon. And, uh, you know, she specifically said how sellers are paying 50% margins. That was a red flag for her. So you want to be like Amazon. Don't be surprised when she comes knocking and, 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 and looking, looking into things. Um, it's just, you know, it's a, it's a very logical connection leap. But... If eBay's telling us that everything is is you know everything looks good on your you're calling in you're saying hey what's going on why am I not getting sales like like historically for the last twenty years this is what you know this is what I, I I've been expect not expecting but this is just what what's happened there have been other downtime there have been other uh, recessions that we've gone through <coughs> sorry <clears throat> what. What's the logical, what's the logical conclusion that we can make as a seller? Oh, I have to have my promoted listings. I'm not getting sales. I'm getting impressions. I'm getting some page views. We're, we're, we're under the impression that if it, <laughs> we're under the impression that an impression, somebody saw it. And for some reason, they didn't feel compelled to click on that beautiful amazing item that you have for sale what it like what is the logical conclusion that we're going to come to that that ebay is hoping we come to with all the data that we have in our back office that is that is that is looking at us and we're looking at it and we're trying to interpret it and there's just so much about the data that we don't there's just a lot of non-transparency, a lot of vagueness. Uh, so yeah, think about that. All right, anything else that I want to say? Um, I think I'm going to leave it at that. I think I said enough. Word of mouth, chatting with other sellers, it's got to be extremely negative. It's got to be, it, like I said, it's got to be uh, parabolically negative. If that's even... Uh, Jack, Jack, Jack made a comment that the only way you can grow on eBay is if you open multiple stores. He's convinced of it. But even then, you're going to be, you're, you're going to be limited. You're going to be, you're, you're, you're going to, you're going to eventually get uh locked in a box okay yeah that that's that's thoughts for another video all right guys um happy birthday to me <laughs> uh, no i i enjoyed uh, i enjoyed making this video today uh i'm gonna go enjoy my birthday dinner uh, i'm gonna have some some ciders on a nice summer day uh it's it was beautiful today i hope wherever you guys at it was sunny and you're able to get out i i really didn't do much with ebay today uh which which is nice um 
but it's going to be a busy week. Got lots to do. Um, I'm, I'm really liking the trajectory of, of how my business is going. I, you know, even, even though yesterday was a double negative, like, I don't think I had a double negative in all of last year. Maybe I'm just not remembering it. But I said to myself, I said to Maria last night, I'm like, even though I had a crap day on eBay and I only had $20 on local sales. So it's not like local sales made it up either. It was just a, it was just a bad day all around. I'm like, you know what? Doesn't matter. Um, so sales are going to come. I'm going to get sales. It's not going to be that big of a deal. And then look what happened today. And the day's not over yet. I, um, I think I'll probably get a couple more sales before the end of the day. I, I feel, I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling like a, uh, I'm in the zone. It's, it's Taurus season. Uh, lots of birthdays this month. Anyhow, peace and blessings to you guys. I hope you guys have a fabulous evening, morning. Uh, you're not going to be seeing this until Monday morning. So hopefully you woke up, you woke up to a bunch of sales. Um, sooner or later, Oh, I want to read one more thing to you because it was so insightful. Oh, no, it's on my. OK, hold on one second. This 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 might give you hope. I have a good friend of mine. Who sold on eBay from 95 until about 2015. And I, I talked to him about things and he just cannot believe what's going on with eBay. What is going on? Where are my chats? Okay. And and he he said something to me the other day. Okay, I'm going to read this and then I'm mic dropping and getting out of here. I was telling him kind of like what I've been doing with local sales and how, you know, every things this is a completely different May than it was last year and he goes good for you. Out of adversity out of adversity comes solutions. Maybe this happening will free you somehow from the shackles of eBay. I'm sure there are en entrepreneurs and developers who are seeing this going on in real time and are working on platforms that will kick eBay's ass. I read that and I was like, that's exactly right. Like, and, and competition is good. So, you know, if, if another platform ship comes up and there's there's always going to be something to fill a need and you know if ebay suddenly has some real competition then they will be forced to adapt and they'll they'll be forced to actually become seller friendly so i firmly believe that this will eventually happen and that's why i'm not stressing over it as much as i was at this time last year uh, i've been i've been buying i've been on a buying spree uh you know i'm just going to keep listing i'm going to keep listing things on other platforms that I feel I'm still I'm still feeling Etsy out uh but anyhow guys take care later